we've had strong five magnitude Texas quake felt in the large area of the region and aftershock of one hour later of three magnitude and also a little further from that 3.4 in Oklahoma basically all within a two hour period of time and this is where we have the Baja plume that's feeding west coast and also going through Utah and into Yellowstone as you can see right there that red arm from Baja it feeds California it also feeds you uh, Yellowstone but this is what people are really not talking about this huge ancient rift valley a very large igneous province and uh, from our previous videos we learned that this it has magma underneath and that magma reaches from the Great Lakes all the way down through Nebraska, Oklahoma, Kansas and uh, into tennis into um, Texas and even New Mexico. This is the uh, Salt Lake City area and it shows the various uh, types of rocks from uh, Igneous as well. Now the we'll look at the map of the mid-continental rift here it is and that part on the west goes down into it extends into texas and even west towards new mexico and this is where we're going to see the quakes looking at the maps but keep in mind that there's also fracking going on this is part of it it shows a little bit deeper the west arm is what we're going to be talking about it extends into texas and new mexico as we said so that is not complete it goes down and then goes west the eastern part of that goes along the uh, New Madrid seismic zone area so let's take a look at the maps together this is where we had our five magnitude and 3.1 an hour later and you'll see the shake map it, they stopped the block but the block is really huge and very intense and uh, this was about an hour after that so I would think that this shaking most probably caused this because it jolted that area. It was so such a big jolt. And you'll see the shake map from USGS. This is our uh, area from Baja feeding a magma to the west and also through here Utah. And that's Salt Lake City right there and also into Yellowstone. That's that mantle plume with magma going right that way as well. And this is the one that's about 880 million years old. One of the biggest and original mantles of uh, mantle plumes from uh, the beginning before the Earth's continent started breaking up. And uh, Laurentia, this area was called Laurentia. And it, the west goes into this, goes right into this through um, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Kansas, Oklahoma. Uh, Kansas, as we know, has 15 volcanoes, and they're diamond-spewing volcanoes, and they have a lot of gas uh, emissions, and maybe that's why people hear uh, sonic booms and their houses rattling, because those volcanoes, there's 15, three here, three here, and another nine. And uh, also we have Texas, that, that plume goes all the way down as we saw the map, and it goes into Texas and then goes into New Mexico. We've been having big earthquakes on uh, the West Coast. We, I uh, posted some concerning Cascadia and um, Clear Lake yesterday, the 4.1 at the geysers at Clear Lake. And that's right very close to Lassen and uh, not far from Lassen and uh, Long Valley. And we believe that it, shook, it may have sh shaken them as well. But um, this 5.1 is not small and you'll see the shaking. Anyway, the mantle plume goes, the west goes in this way. And that's an area where they have a lot of fracking, as we will see in the map. And the eastern part goes along the Adirondacks as well. This way at the New Madrid uh, Rift Valley. Seismic zone is actually the real foot rift. It's a, it should be called a rift valley. And we've seen an uptick in earthquakes there. Now let's go to our... Okay, this is... Oh, we just had another one. 3.2. Again, so, so there's an ongoing swarm there. This is another one, 3.2. Okay? And uh, that's basically every hour. 
Okay, the original one was at uh, 10, 16, well, 15, 16 UTC. And then we had the other ones. Let's go in, you'll see. Oh, it's right on top of the other one. Okay. Anyway, that's 3.2. And um, after the the 5.1, the 5 magnitude, sorry, 5 magnitude, at 16, uh, 16 UTC, exactly one hour later, we have the 3.1. And now we have this one. Oh, sorry. Then we had the Utah quake, uh, the uh, Oklahoma quake. Okay. And then we have this one going back. Okay, about two hours later, two hours after the Oklahoma quake, quake we have the 3.2. So um, let's go to our shake map of the five magnitude. That's the shake map I have ready for you. You can see the intensity. They stopped the block, unfortunately. But um, uh, obviously, if you extrapolate, look, at it, it's all white from the shaking. Um, it, uh, okay, let's go in a little bit more so you can see the intensity. It's, it's hardly, look at that. Okay, look at that. It's everywhere. Okay. And you can see how intense the shaking is. So I would say that um, it probably shook Oklahoma as well. And uh, it could very well have shaken Utah again. But uh, where is that shaking coming from? Five, five magnitude, is that, do you think, hydro fracking or is that man-made quake? I, I would venture to say that, look, they've got a mantle, they've got magma. They've got magma under there. And uh, we've seen a number of quakes, even uh, in Canada, around Lake Michigan, Lake Superior. Uh, we've seen upstate New York. We've seen Rhode Island, Boston quakes, um, because of the uptick in the earthquakes on the New Madrid area. Uh, but we've also seen quakes around here. And now we see the five. That's very big. And as we know, earthquakes beget more earthquakes. Um, so, okay, that's of course a fault line, right, these, these mountains right here. And um, if you extend, if you extend these shakings, where are they going to go? Okay, this is the San Andreas Fault. This is Garlic Fault. That's the Walker Lane Fault System. That's Mono Lake where we have the uh, Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano. And um, there's Salt Lake City, uh, where we've been having an ongoing quake swarm, and it's still ongoing. And of course, that is, I believe, that uh, mantle plume going into Yellowstone. Okay, That has been shaking, and it's continuing to shake. And out of somewhere, out of nowhere, this thing, five magnitude, uh, I will see what the historicity of these five magnitudes are, but that's pretty big. And... Uh, Let's go this way. That's what we saw. And then we'll see how many reported it. Let's refresh the page because we've just had another one. Okay, 1,348 reported it. So thousands of, people's, uh, thousands of people must have felt it. Um, then we had the three magnitude. Okay, after that, 33 reported feeling that one. And uh, this one is in Oklahoma. As we can see right there, again, they stop the uh, block, and we don't see the, um, okay, but this is Texas down here. Okay, as we saw before, where are we here? Okay, they're not that far from each other, obviously. The shaking was very big. There we go, Perry, Oklahoma is where we had our quake. And this thing obviously took the whole, shook the whole area. Let's go back to this. Obviously. Okay. That's, uh, I believe, shook Perry, Oklahoma, giving us a 3.4. And um, as we can see, you, uh, the Salt Lake City is still ongoing today. The blue are today's quakes. The red is the past hour. And um, let's take the look at better. There's 
there's our more, more quakes there. We had one in Maine. I did a video on that one. Maine has five volcanoes. This is the eastern seamount with 30 volcanoes. And um, we do have a lot of magma under there. A lot of magma, as you'll see in the, uh, the, the uh, as you saw in the map before, the map that showed the magma. There's a lot of magma under Maine because of the fact that there's magma under here. And that pushes into there. Okay. And 8.1 and uh, 2 magnitude. Did they feel this? There, uh, we, nothing. Okay. Um, because they feel earthquakes 10 times more than they would feel in the uh, west. Okay. There we go. And let's read some of our information about this because it shook the whole area and it seems like there's a, a quake swarm ongoing. Earthquakes in the stable continental region. You'll notice that they never ever ever mention mid-continental rift and the magma that runs under there, but that's okay because we found articles on that. Most of North America east Rocky Mountains in frequent earthquakes. Here and there earthquakes are more numerous. For example, New Madrid seismic zone centered on the southeast of Missouri and the Charlevoix, Kamouraska, Seismic Zone of Eastern Quebec. In New England, New York, Philadelphia, Wilmington, or Urban, Urban Corridor, and elsewhere, most of the enormous region from the Rockies to the Atlantic can go years without an earthquake large enough to be felt. Well, we've been having a lot of those lately in this area being felt, and several U.S. states have never reported a damaging earthquake. Earthquakes east of the Rockies, although less frequent than the west, are typically felt over a much broader region, then earthquakes of similar magnitude in the west. East of the Rockies, an earthquake can be felt over an area more than 10 times larger than a similar earthquake magnitude on the west coast. It would not be unusual for magnitude 4 uh, to be felt 60 miles from its source, magnitude 5.5, 300 miles from its source. So that's just about where we are now, 300 miles. Let's um, measure. Although this was not a 5.5, it was a 5, but still. Go, oops, sorry, I did something wrong. Let's go again. Miles, okay. 300 miles. About here. Okay, around there. Obviously, uh, I think that this obviously shook from, from what you saw, from the shake map. I mean, it was all over the place even though they stop at a certain uh, position. They stop them so that we don't have a, a view of uh, where it can go, but it's so intense, I would say it would go up to here. Okay, so all of you there, please be very careful because it seems that we have, um, this was a very strong quake and it seems like the quake swarm is uh, continuing, as you can see, with the latest one being 3.1 the same exact location, so it's a quake swarm. And of course, we have uh, the quake swarm here in Oklahoma City as well. And if we go, just go into the area, and you can see where I've pinned it, there's a lot of fracking going on, as you can see, right there. You can, you can even see it now, right there. But even on the mountains, they even have it going on on the mountains. Yes. Let's pull in a little bit. There you go. And there we go. And you can see all this. Very barren. But um, that, that one is very, very clear to see. There you go. Okay. So you have the tanks there and the water there. One just across the street. Where is it? Oh, I saw it. Another one there. Tanks there. So they're all over the place there. Uh, but as we said, they have the mantle plume running there, right through there, and into Texas, all the way to uh, turning west then to New Mexico, as we saw. So please be very careful. God bless you and give you boldness and fortitude and a very strong faith, and protect you, provide for you always. Thank you.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.